Hello there, I'm Lynette, and you're watching Chasing Daydream. I have a new pair of shorts. A padded shorts. I am pretty excited because I get to try out my new pair of chamois mixed shorts. Like it's got a chamois liner and shorts. Someone from the community recognized that one of the biggest struggles I was having was that I was still using the Academy chamois and uh, I had one individual donate a hand-me-down set that they had that had never been used but they didn't fit them so they offered them to me they're called Castelli they're bibs and uh, I do like them, but they're just a smidge bit too big. And one of the things that I am figuring out is that you need multiple pairs of chamois because you're not supposed to wear underwear with them. Uh, it creates a friction point. And I didn't think too much of it at first, but when I first tried riding the bibs without underwear, it, it really did make a huge difference, even though they were still slightly too big. But uh, another couple, they reached out and offered to send me a brand new set of, I call them Zoics, Z-O-I-C, but I think they're pronounced Zoic. Uh, they're riding shorts with a detachable liner. I like them. They're very comfy material and they got zipper pockets so it works I feel like I got a diaper on but that's the life of a chamois wearer right <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying them out today and seeing how they work and if they they feel like they fit they feel like they fit better than the Castellis um, I don't know how I'm gonna like having the shorts now that I've kind of gotten spoiled to bibs holding my gut in <laughs> Hopefully these will meet my needs and make it so that I don't have the pains coming from my sciatic area. But I was also realizing that I was getting pains from saddle sores. I didn't know what a saddle sore looked like or what it was. I was thinking, you know, an, uh, 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 an open sore. But when I researched what exactly is a saddle sore and what they look like, especially on women, they look like ingrown hairs or pimples. And that was something that was right along the panty line in, in, in these areas right here, right along that panty line. It was just all what I thought was broken out with pimples and ingrown hairs. I kept calling them ingrown hairs but they would never surface. And I was just kind of tending them with things like, oh, let's see, I've got it right here. This guy right here, chafing stick, any friction chafing stick. It's shea butter, it's lotion. So I thought, well, you know, what's the better way to get rid of ingrown hairs? Well, you, you treat the skin to make sure that the hair doesn't get trapped under there so that's what I was doing and that was helping but the real issue was being caused by saddle sores those are saddle sores it was my saddle and my chamois that was creating a straight line on both sides of ingrown hair kind of sores so since I got the Castellis and I've been riding with those the Saddle sores diminished, but they were still on this side of my body. That's where I have the most issues with when I'm pedaling. It creates a pinch point right there and it hurts and it also rolls right along that sciatic nerve area. Those were the, some of the complications that I kept facing. I'm hoping that with the Zoics, Zoics, that they, uh, will eliminate the rest of those saddle sore pressure points because these definitely fit more snugly they're not moving 
other than the fact of when I do this on my rear end to make sure there's no dirt or anything behind me. I do feel like I got a diaper on, but like I said, that's the life of a chamois wearer, right? <laughs> so let's go try these shorts out. <laughs> 